Extreme programming, sometimes called XP, is one form of agile programming. Now, extreme programming was one of the very first methodologies, and as such, some of its techniques have been co-opted by other development practices. The XP process includes the following steps. Planning, also called the planning game, begins with listening to build user stories of what the user expects to do. Basically, what output would be generated, the features, and functionality of the application. The customer, often with the help of someone specializing in planning, develops these stories and then assigns each one a point value as to how important it is. Notice that customers and developers work together to determine what features go into the next release. Next is design. Following the KISS simple, keep it simple process, XP likes object-oriented programming ideas and uses something called CRC cards. Now, if that sounds a bit like a foreign language, don't worry, we're going to look at these later. The third step is coding, and it starts with developing unit tests first. Unit tests is a way to ensure that what is coded is producing the correct data. Now, one of the things that developers have a love-hate relationship with is that XP likes pair programming. That is where two people work together to help overcome issues and review each other's code. In a true, pure, extreme programming environment, these two developers always work together on a single computer. They may trade off, but the idea is a second set of ideas, always questioning the coding, will ensure the code is easy to understand and reduce the chances of bugs. This is more likely to make it high quality and maintainable. At the same time, management basically just hates pair programming. That's because they have to pay for two developers, and they always question, does the coding get done twice as fast? The next step is testing. Unit tests have already been run during the coding process. However, there are various forms of testing, and these other testing methods will take place at this point. Which ones are used will often depend upon the application. We'll talk about different types of testing methods later on in the course. Once testing is done, then you can deliver your final project. And because extreme programming is considered agile, all you're doing is just starting the next series or next cycle of that process.